we've created a system that's super efficient and we take every measure we can to cut costs. And what that means is, is that if there's a small disruption, it can have a ripple effect through the whole system, the whole supply. And the, where we are now isn't a small disruption. This is an extremely large disruption to that system. This pandemic's made us realize one thing. We live in the land of plenty. But there's a food chain that is just as important to us as our military is. It wasn't easy at first because no one really knew what this virus is all about. There was a point where everybody was a lot of uncertainty what was going to happen. The stores started buying a lot of fruit, but then when the schools went out, we knew we were going to miss that market. 30% of the national supply of dairy products goes to food service. You've got to harvest every day and you've got to do something with it. We really didn't see it coming. We thought that this, this, this uh, COVID-19 would really just put a stop to everything. To see it literally going down the drain is, it's devastating. It's like asking these, these processing facilities who are making four trucks tomorrow to retool to make Priuses. This is the problem. You know that you know better than a bunch of government bureaucrats, so thank you. We can't let it take over our lives. Why would a tomato, a guy that's grown row crops his whole life, tomatoes and asparagus and alfalfa and cotton, rice or whatever he's doing, why would he want wake up one day, get rid of three generations of equipment that made him successful and turn around and start farming almonds? Anybody ever ask that question? During the COVID-19 issues and problems that everybody had, they wouldn't be able to eat. I know there were times at stores when there was no toilet paper, you see no eggs, you would see no produce on the stands and, and we continued to work and the people who work for us continued to work, stayed on the job to help feed America.